Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing? I know it takes a minute slash an hour for some people to show up, but um, I am here. I am ready for you. Um, yeah. I was reading up on live streaming a little bit since I've been doing it so much and enjoying it. And I thought it keeps ringing in my head the idea that live streaming is like long form internet content. Like so much of what we put out there these days is like so short and sweet and you can't really get like the whole song or the whole story out there. The nuanced view, shall we say. Um, so yeah, I think it's c a little bit bold and radical to make something long and warbling like a podcast or a live stream. It's, uh, it's a little bit radical, a little bit subversive that we're, um, hearing each other out and connecting in a deeper way. It's cool stuff. It's cool. Still exploring the realm of the possible. Anyways, this is my little 80s-tastic thrifted find. I think it looks completely magical. It doesn't look like the 80s to me, but I was told it's an 80s fashion. Um, what I am trying to channel with my costumes some of the time, not it's hard to do it all the time because my inner butterfly wants to just wear whatever I want to wear. But um, I have been, sorry, I'm getting distracted by my own self. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to channel the post climate change apocalypse, indigenous values, matriarchal society that my next album, which is a concept album, is based on. So I'm not actually the main character of that. There's like a world empress queen goddess who is running the show. I don't want to dress up as her, but I'm happy to dress up as like one of her um, citizens. Um, yeah, so full disclosure, this week I was, um, very busy. I was doing session work for two different rock operas. Just let that sink in. <laughs> two different people in the U.S., one local and one, uh, digital, a digital person that I only talk to online. Um hired me slash did work trade with me to work on their rock operas. So all my high pitched squealing is paying off. They want, they want me on their tracks all up in the mix. Um, so yeah, that's an exciting new income stream for me. Yay. But because it was income, I did prioritize it over rehearsing for today so I thought we could just go through some songs really casually this is me hoping to get away with not rehearsing <laughs> um, and then this morning in addition to not rehearsing I just worked on a new cover for y'all but I knew it was a simple repeating chord song and I did cover it like a decade ago so I'm trying to like gather all my cover songs in one place and share them. Um, anyways, oh, I forgot to turn up my voice. I'll try to remember. I have a little, little reminder note. <sighs> turn up my speaking voice. But yeah, I figured since I was working on this cover, we could try. It's called Such Great Heights, perhaps. Let me know if you've heard of it. Postal Service. Um, yeah, just been feeling a little romantic lately. Things have been going well with Boo. So, let's share this song about love. I do need the lyrics, so bear with me.
slip perfectly online and I have to speculate God himself did make us into corresponding shapes like puzzle pieces from clay true it may seem like a stretch but it starts like this that catch my troubled head when you're away and I'm missing death when you're out there on the road for several weeks I've chosen when you scan the radio I hope this song will guide you home
Thank you, Move Madness. So glad you could join me. I knew you would like that one. You got me on a roll with writing some <laughs> synthscape epic songs. I mean, I didn't write that one, but I put my spin on it. It's fun. I've only heard men singing that song, so nice to paint with my voice all over that song. <laughs> well, that put me in a good mood. Yay! Oh, I'm glad it's relaxing. Humanity needs relaxation. We're all being chased by invisible tigers nonstop. Yeah, I love relaxing. It's my favorite. I probably do it too much. Like, I hate cardio. It's not good for you to never do cardio. But I do like dancing. Which is why I need to take dance breaks while I'm singing. Because that's my only cardio in life. <laughs> which is scary. Scary for my heart health. But, um, yeah. I think some of you know I have chronic tension. My left side of my family has muscular dystrophy and the right side of my family I think has like uh, arthritis stuff going on. So I inherited a little bit of both. Yay. Um, but yeah, I just try to keep it spicy. I don't like doing the same things over and over again. And that seems to keep me fairly functional. But it's totally what shaped my sound because I couldn't just shred on the piano nonstop. So I had to start looping myself and got more into recording. And yeah, so it's a journey. I'm enjoying the journey for now. And I'm just grateful I'm not like disabled because sometimes I'm like, am I, do I need to, do I need to consider myself disabled when I'm like not able to function? But fortunately, that's very rare. Oh, we were working up a little heat here. Maybe I should turn the AC down a little bit. Cause I'm hot. One minute. Mm. Thank you so much for watching, listening, being with me makes me happy. Good. I'm glad the good mood is mutual. Okay, now I don't know what I'm doing next. So this is my 
handy dandy notebook. Um, it looks way prettier on the outside than the inside. I, I hate lines. I guess you can't see that well, but I hate lines. I hate writing within the lines, but it was so cute. I made an exception. Um, yeah, this is all my music knowledge from classes I've taken this year. And in the back is my list of songs. I have a pretty big show next weekend. Sunday at 5, I believe, at Woolen Mills, uh, the Wool Factory area in Charlottesville. It's called Selvage Brewing. I played there last year. And I brought a drummer, and that space is really echoey, so I'm not bringing a drummer this time. Um, yeah, that was a fun moment, having a drummer, but... I like having control of my drum volume. Yes, I'm a control freak in a good way, though. Usually. Um, let me know if you have any requests. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling spacey about what I want to play today. I've been trying to just go through my entire catalog, because not to bore you or myself, but um, I do need to just play a nice set on next Sunday, so. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just me. La 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 It's hard to say. I don't know why I've been like struggling to pick a song to play. Uh, I'm really just feeling the covers, so. Maybe I should just go with that. Got to follow your muse, right? Got to follow the creative spark. Zero. Let's do Riptide again. I did it last week. And let's just brush up on it, shall we?
Voilà. I see, I see what you want. <gasps> and opening up. Cool. Good ideas, everyone. Um love love taking a request and feeling like I can I can deliver. I know a lot of live streamers like live off of requests, so I wanna get in the habit of taking and giving requests. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Oh, madness. You feel me. We're connected through this music. Yeah. Um, I was just talking to someone, what, um, the guy who uh, I, I did the session work with, um, recording on his rock opera. We were talking about how there's something kind of like a spell with music. That's my little witchy eyebrow raise. Um, I think people are just more open to ideas that come through music. There's something like it hits here instead of here or it like comes in here and then goes through there and then makes a little U-turn here and then, yeah, I don't know exactly where it's going, but <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of think of them as spells in a way because I've seen people feel better after they listen to one of my songs or maybe shift their perspective. And as a recovering co control freak, I do like influencing people in that way. Um, I, think, I think every musician wants to share ideas and make people's lives better in some way. So I do think there's something magical happening or subliminal maybe is a better word, subconscious. But the cool thing is it's consensual because people can choose what music they listen to and expose themselves to. So it's kind of like this intentional mesmerizing. <laughs> I'm just very flattered that you are consenting to let me put my enchantments on you. <laughs> nah, I don't. It's probably just more like a friend influences you. But yeah, I don't know. There's something magical about music. I think you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Also, I was reading about live streaming. Another thing I read is that you shouldn't dress up too much. You should look cash. Um, but I like to dress up to just get in the, in the mood get in the like it's like putting on a mask or something and then going and entertaining I I'm not gonna be able to show up in my PJs at least not yet I'm sorry it's also good for my self-esteem to like once a week get dressed up in a way that I think is fun and I'm like see I still got it <laughs> I did realize I'll probably still wear outfits like this when I'm like in my 90s be one of those fashionable little little old ladies looking forward to it okay okay mountain walk then opening up a little nervous but let's make it happen I did a show with my auto harp many moons ago, and that's when I made this version of this song. So there's going to be a little auto harp in there. I need to hook up my auto harp to all my effects and see what kind of uh, ethereal soundscapes I can create.
me just refresh for one moment. I think this was the outro. I wonder if I could hook up my auto harp. It would take me a minute, because I got a preamp. Got to get some chords. I need two chords. Scoot up my chair. Hmm. Maybe I could definitely have the one ready for next time, or I could just, can't be that hard to do it on piano. studio with me creating I guess that is my specialty playing old songs in new ways hey you caught me standing in struggle with seven chords. <laughs> I blame my classical training. Hey, you caught me standing in the air. Oh, no. Hey, you caught me standing in the air. You drew to you I was everywhere The mountain top would not stop bearing down without a sound The sun was hot Stars were not present by we felt them burn. We are just to wonder Oh
changing, you are changing, seasons are changing. I am changing, you are changing, seasons are changing. I am changing, you are changing, seasons are changing. Well, that was cool. I was looking for some nature sounds in my synth, uh, and I made a happy discovery. I liked that little sound that was happening. 
whenever I discover a new sound, it's a little like, ah, is it going to hurt my ears? I don't know what's happening, but I've gotten pretty good at just adjusting the volume when that happens. You guys are all up in my creative process today. I'm going to write that down so I can do it again and make that sound. Well, that was a wonderful idea to play that song. I don't play that enough. It feels so good. Sometimes I just write a poetic song without, and I just totally forget about a chorus. Hopefully that's okay. I feel like there's just room for all kinds of diversity in the music world music biz or whatever this is, music ecosystem. I pay you and you pay me. Yeah. Um, love you guys. Hi, Lo. Thanks for joining us. I'm not sure if I've seen you here before. That's a very cute little handle. Yeah, new water bottle today. This is my sleep water bottle because I have to tape my mouth shut at night so I do not breathe through my mouth, which is amazing for my sleep. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. So I always have a straw. This is my, my go-to. But my normal water bottle, um, I don't know if I should share this. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a dirty hippie. I forget to wash my water bottle, but I actually remembered this week. Um, yeah, it's in the, it's in the, the dish rack, probably. Fun facts about me. Mark, I'm so glad you are captivated by my soul. It definitely feels like the little me can't take credit for the magic. I think there's something bigger, unseen, perhaps a soul perhaps the source of my soul so, or just maybe like splinters of electrons I don't know it's a mystery but we love that don't we we love having a great mystery around us so fun <laughs> now nah, it is pretty cool it's pretty cool if you think about it but also annoying seriously we're born and we don't know what's what now we gotta learn and then, like, even once you learn everything, it's like, we still don't know. Whatever. Um, that was fun. I am going to take the request to play the kite song very seriously. I feel like playing my favorite songs as covers is like a way to have a musical conversation, introduce you to my besties. Um, kind of, I'm, I'm getting a metaphor of a garden, like all my, all my songs and my favorite songs and they're all like different species of flowers, but they're all connected, inspiring new blooms to blossom. That's a good idea to do the kite song. It doesn't seem hard. In case you haven't noticed, I like songs with... I learned that this week working on other people's projects, playing... Um, sorry, my brain is like, ah, Annabeth, you're talking too much. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I learned that I like... So much easier to, s to play and riff around on top of repeating patterns. But a lot of pop songs are repeating patterns, so I'm not going to feel bad for liking simple stuff. Just because I'm basic doesn't mean I suck. Um, yes, again with the inner voice. But um, yeah, there's something perhaps more enchanting about repeating patterns. I love them so much. <gasps> Ma'am, hi. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you found us. Okay, 
you called out for opening up. That's a good request too. And I remember last time I played it, I enjoyed it. It's going to be a little bumpy ride because I haven't played it in a month of Sundays. That's a, that's a lot. That's like almost a year. A month of Sundays. I never thought about that. Okay. Opening up. Where are you? Oh, there it is. gonna do a little refresh. <laughs> okay, that's another outro. So here. Back to the keyboard.
Well, that was a little bit bumpy, but a fun ride. Um, I liked the riffing. I don't think I've done like a breathy, echoey, instrumentally vocal over that before. That was nice. I love coming up with new little sprinkles for my songs. As you know, so thanks for bringing that out of me into the world. Moon Madness and Mark, you are like picking up what I am putting down. That's so amazing. I mean, how lucky are we? <laughs> I get to sing, which is my favorite thing. And I get to have this like huge impact on your, I guess, emotions, maybe your well being for the day. So it's really amazing. I'm so happy for all of us. <laughs> oh, good. You got the chills. I collect chills in a little, in a little bank vault. And that's like my riches in life. It's the number of chills I've given. Yes. <laughs> no, that's really special. I think, I'm not sure what that means. Something is happening in your, all your nerve endings. The music is strumming your nerves. <laughs> Yay, go team. Um, I decided, I made an executive decision that I'm not gonna worry so much about my armpit hair. I actually like my armpit hair, but I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. But I thought probably my tribe is either hippies or we've got some nudists out there. <laughs> Um, you know, body positivity, I'm not going to be like shoving it in anyone's face. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to limit myself to only things that hide my armpits anymore. I have liberated my armpits. I probably didn't even need to tell you, you wouldn't have noticed TMI, sorry. Um, but my parents are Irish and I feel like in Europe, it's just an NBD, no big deal. So I'd like to bring that over here. I mean, there is definitely a movement. So, yeah, I'm just joining the movement a little late, I guess. Both those songs are such good vibes. You guys are the cutest. You, like, request my two most heartwarming songs. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Natural is best, Mark. Yeah, I do feel like it's a feminist issue. Like, we shouldn't feel like we have to go above and beyond to groom our bodies. Like, you do you, whatever's fun for you, makes you feel fabulous. But don't feel like you have to put all this time into looking amazing when you could be smashing the patriarchy. No, just kidding. Um, apparently, this is a revolutionary idea. I don't think that we need to replace matriarchy with pat or patriarchy with matriarchy. I can't say those words in a row. I think we need a balance of mater and pater. I mean, that could even be like, I had an idea. What if we had like, I don't know, like a women's Congress and a men's Congress and things had to be approved by both. Like, that would be cool. I'm not saying that that should be how it is, but what if we had to all agree, like if we're going to go to war or if we're going to print a trillion dollars, like let's ask the chicks too, you know? Um, yeah, I think we have, I think we would uh, veto, we would cock block a lot of that shit. <laughs> Just saying. <sighs> yeah. We have, a, we have a gender neutral child in our home. So we have lots of conversations about sex and gender and the difference. My current stance is if you're a man or a woman or whatever you are in between, just feel free to be who you are. And a woman can be 
everything and a man can be everything. So I'm embracing the womanness that is me. Because when I was a teen, I didn't want to be a woman. I was like, this sucks. And like, however many years, decades later, I'm like, this is the bomb. So yeah, I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical of, of the um, people, the young ones who want to change their gender at such a young age. Give it time. Give it time. Let, let this bake. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Well, that was my experience, and that's all we have. We have our own experiences, and then we can share them with each other. So I want to be influenced by you. You can influence me. Let's not be afraid to talk about things that are important to us. <sighs> yes, I um, be yourself is like a mantra in my life like in life that keeps unfolding for a long time I didn't know what that meant like be yourself I was like okay and it's it's like deep it's profound and like you keep stepping into new levels of like oh this is who I am actually and this is how I can be me good stuff be yourself people I'm still working on it so I mean obviously I'm doing an okay job here just be myself. But um, I think, yeah, the best musicians and performing artists. I think I read You Gotta Be Yourself But Extra. So maybe that's my mantra. Be yourself but extra. <laughs> well, we're past the hour mark. My voice is a little bit tired, but I will need to be singing for two hours straight. Oh my goodness, we've never done a Scottish accent on here yet. Good, um, I've been listening to Outlander, uh, the books on tape. Ah, Jamie. Jamie's my other man. Um, I wouldn't say my Scottish accent is the best, but it's not bad. <laughs> I wonder how to be... Oh, there it is. There's the curly voice. Nope, it turned Irish. Scottish little lady up in the hills. Nope. I only have a Scottish man inside of me. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy my sense of humor. You see my wings? Yes. Yes. I would probably look cute wearing them right now. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should do one more song. Oh, that's the Doug theme song. I probably watched that show the most as a kid. So. Let me know if you have any requests. Ma'am. Mom always has requests. <laughs> that one did I do sing a song oh yeah I did sing a song come on give me a request anybody anything I might have to do another cover since I'm in a cover mood I really love the ode to my family slash butterfly song you probably know um, I've started calling it Ode to a Butterfly, which I think is a beautiful name for a song. I think there's that song, How to Pimp a Butterfly. <gasps> May it be by Enya. Okay, mom, I know you want to <laughs> hear a manual. It's, uh, what, what is it actually called? What, um, if life came with a manual, we'd take the time to read it. First thing, maybe? I don't know the first thing. You don't know the first thing. She's talking about a song that I recorded with my French ex-boyfriend uh, called The Wild Harmony. I think it's on Spotify. Anyways, I want to look up... 
I had a brief spate of enjoying Elliot Smith. I feel like I really liked one of his songs. I should dive back into that. I'm going to write that down. I want to look up May It Be by Enya. I'm not sure what that sounds like, but maybe it's easy. I'm looking it up on YouTube, but they want me to look at the commercials. Oh, that's a beautiful song. And it was in Lord of the Rings. Ugh, that reverb sounds like butter. <laughs> I guess I'm doing a reaction video right now. Oh, I really want to cover that. I don't know the melody yet. It sounds familiar. Oh yeah, I know that song. Believe and you will find your way. Uh. What a beautiful request. I'm going to have to do that for you one of these days. I don't think I can pull it off right now. May it be in you. More notes. Ooh, maybe I could catch all, capture all those Enya fans, make an Enya cover. Oh, that sounds wonderful. The Clash. I'm not that familiar with The Clash. Like, which... I know that's a super famous name. And I'm embarrassed. I don't remember what they sound like. But maybe tell me a song name. I'll go check out The Clash. Um, Lorena McKenna would be very fitting. Um, yeah, again, I would have to really listen to one of the songs and memorize the melodies. Because I haven't listened to her a ton, even though I sound like her. Club Amelie, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, very cool to see you across the ocean. A psychedelic song on the banjo. That sounds right. That sounds that sounds possible. Shoot, I don't know which one. My discography that I've recorded is on Bandcamp. And Beth sings at Bandcamp.com. But I, I can't promise all the songs I've ever played are there. I don't know. The Mummer's Dance. The Mummer's Dance. I've heard that name. Is that a Lorena McKinnon? I'm sure I can find out if I Google it. The Mummer's Dance. Oh, well, uh, I, I definitely want to look up Elliot Smith. There was one song of his that was so good. Okay, I'm new to taking requests. <laughs> so... <laughs> Doing it cold is good, not going to be possible for me um, without just it being taking forever. 
Um, but yeah, actually the Elliot Smith is probably the most likely bec- that I could do right now because if I could just knew the song that I was thinking of because I'm familiar with it. Like I listened, it has grooves in my brain. Well, that Enya song kind of made me want to do Desert Bloom again, even though that's not really rehearsing for next week. Maybe I can get away with playing a meditation song in a brewery. I don't think so. Desert Bloom. 56.
I forgot to turn down my um, my mic when I talk is so loud. Sammy, shoot, I don't know why I can't hear the distortion. I'm supposed to be able to hear it through my little interface. Maybe it's because it's like a cheap one. Sorry, I hope it was still relaxing for you. I was trying to send you relaxing vibes because I know you like them as much as I do. I gotta remember to turn that volume down when I sing. I, it's interesting that my talking voice is quieter than my singing voice. Definitely is like using me like an instrument. It's a different, it's a different thing. I love you guys for listening to my heart songs and giving my life so much meaning. It just doesn't feel the same when I play the songs for myself. It feels good when I play them for you. So thank you for being here. You make me happy. Um, I'm in a bit of a daze now. But yes, um, do send me your cover request to listen to. I love being shaped by your sounds. And oh, I should I should do You Died Last Sunday. I, I wrote, that was one of the last songs I wrote on guitar before I stopped playing guitar. But it's pretty basic. So as far as the chord structure, You Died Last Sunday. Solid song. I, I really like that one. As long as you're not creeped out by it, it's a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Hi, where's Spady? Thanks for joining us. All these new friends today. Or old friends that I don't know their handles yet. Um, yeah, YouTube does make it a little hard for me for object recognition, for human human recognition, but if you keep showing up, I'll learn who you are. Although I might not know what your face looks like. I might not remember. Um, yeah, this was awesome. I was playing around with, again, I was researching live streaming and they recommend live streaming a minimum of two hours, which is a lot, but it's no more than a gig. So this was probably an hour and a half. Yeah, so that was a good little test drive. I do feel sleepy now. Maybe I should start a little earlier. <sighs> Maybe I just relaxed myself too much. <laughs> I'm glad the relaxing vibes pierced through more than the distortion. Um. Be well, my people. I like to think of life as a big experiment and we're just trying different things every day. Try something new and see if life is better or worse. Or take things out, put them back in, play around. Experimentation is the spice of life. Okay, that's my nugget of wisdom. Sorry, I'm not always like the wisest, but I try, I try. <sighs> Have a wonderful weekend. Um, come consider being my patron if you want to like really show me the love, uh, patreon.com slash Annabeth sings. And I need to post, I mastered a new single and I need to post it there and I have some new demos I need to post there. So it's on the to-do list. Stay, stay tuned. Um, any other news? Come to Floyd Yoga Jam if you want to come to Virginia. It's gorgeous. Last weekend in August. If you like relaxation and beautiful music, you're going to love it. Hmm. Anything else? That's all I got in my brain because now I'm, I'm just in my heart. I got nothing going on up here now. <laughs> That sounds cool. Um, you mean medicine the song, Mark? 
I should play it because I love that. But yes, many things in life are medicine. I don't need to move that. I just need to <laughs> move my body. Okay, uh, let's give each other a hug. Mm. Yes, oxytocin. See you next week. Mwah.